I'm back up in Egan, Minnesota, uh, where we make all of our equipment and supplies. Um, that's our distribution and manufacturing facility. Um, I wanted to put together a little bit of video for you in reference to cleaning your screen, uh, getting the ink out of the screen. One is for on press. We'll talk about that first. Then we'll look at the um, final conclusion when we have the stencil. We just want to get rid of the ink off of that. So I have my screen. I have my my ink in it, I have my squeegee and so forth, but if I wanted to do a quick cleanup, such as in an area, in one of the areas, like one of the letters in here, because I have a little bit of a smear or I have a blockage of some fashion, I can do that with one of our products which is called PWG 122. Um, this is a press wash, it's out of our green family, it flashes off the screen very rapidly, it's a low odor product. Um, at the same time, uh, it makes it simple and fast to work with. All I need is a little bit of a paper towel. Put a little on the surface there. Get rid of that. And I can come in here. And I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but I've taken all the ink out of that area very quickly. And I could come back in and do the entire screen on press if I want to um, because I'm going to do a color change. So I don't have to break down my setup, just take the ink off using the PWG 122. It's already dried, um, so at this point we can go and actually print a shirt. Get this on here. You know what, I better do this first though. Give it a little spray mist. This is RBA 2. Uh, there is a wet version of that as well when you're doing heavier garments and fleece. Line my shirt up. Where I want it. Okay. Flood the screen. And pull. That's it. So we cleaned out that R and the H and the I. That fast, you're back and running. Again, that's PWG 122. We also have a product which is PWG 125, which is a multi-purpose, so that if you're not only working with plastisol inks, but maybe you're doing some cardstock and so forth, it'll work on the solvent and the UV products as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is card all the card all, all of the ink, and then we'll get over to the washout booth and we'll take it to the next phase. We're going to be heading back to the washout booth, as I mentioned, but I wanted to uh, point out this is uh, the dryer combo that we're working with, dryer and printer. It's the uh, SureCure um, 5 42, so it's five feet long, four heads, two platen area. It's simple, small, convenient. It's also 110 volt so that you can uh, just plug it right into the, out the outlet in the spare bedroom that you have, waiting to start doing this, of course. Um, so let me get this screen and we'll go. Okay, we're out and back in our washout booth. We have our screen. I've put it in on a tight shot so that you can really see what's going on. Um, I've carted out all of the ink, as I mentioned. I've taken the tape off from the inside that was all around the well area. Um, now I'm going to use our SWG-145C. That's a screen wash out of the green family. Um, has a citrus scent, subsequently the sea. And let's squirt a little on the screen. You can see how it emulsifies the ink immediately. that off. We're 
we're doing this in one of our Rhino Clean washout booths, all made out of polypropylene uh, aluminum stand and so forth. Okay, I think I see a little bit more on this side. I'm gonna put a little on here. We'll give it a final rinse. There we go. That's how you take the ink out of a screen. Simple, fast, um, SWG 145C, designed specifically for uh, plastisol ink, and we have the SWG305. If you like a soy-based product, this is the one to use. Next, next phase, which will be in another video, is going to be removing that stencil. Thanks for watching. You know where to find us.